the investment world tells us to diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. But if you're not a passive investor and you are using real estate and specifically self storage to grow your net worth and create wealth, I'm going to tell you otherwise. Specialize, don't diversify. My name is Mark Hellman. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Quick Start Academy, which houses the on demand boot camp, which is the premier training I offer. Take you from wherever you are all the way to putting your first self storage facility into service. You can find out more about the training I offer at Creating Wealth Through Self Storage.com. And I'm going to suggest that if you're in real estate, specifically if you're in self storage, become a specialist. Become a specialist at one type of self storage and do that over and over again. The investment world tells us to diversify. But here's what I know. Now, most of when you hear diversify, most of that comes from investment advisors. Here's what I know. Index funds outperform investment advisors 97% of the time. So you're better off if you're going to use the stock market, just put your money in an index fund and bypass the investment advisors. And the 3% that beat the market, they're usually never the same 3% each year. So it's just a random 3% of investment advisors who in any given year may beat the market. Now, I'm not giving investment advice. It's probably my family of origin issues, dealing with authority figures, but I don't pay a lot of attention to what investment advisors tell me to do. I'm ultimately responsible for my money and my net worth, so we're gonna make those decisions. What I discovered in my life is that if you can find a formula that works, and you repeat that formula, you will create wealth. The, the doing one or two deals and getting rich, I don't know anybody that's actually done that. There may be out there. I just don't know them. What I know is that if you can find something that works and then do it often enough, you can create wealth. It's like savings, savings a little bit each month uh, and invest it in an index fund or in self storage. Over time, you will create wealth. You have a loan. You pay a little bit on that loan each month. That loan goes down and your equity increases a little bit each month and over time you can create some wealth. If wealth is what you're seeking, wealth is usually created slowly and over time. Find something that works and rinse and repeat. Let's talk about this concept in the context of self storage. So let's talk about rural America. I know a guy, a person who developed the idea that he was not going to compete with the larger players. In fact, he was going to do the complete opposite of what people in the self storage business were doing at that time. So what he did is he went to small town America, would build or buy small, and this is back in the 80s, he 20, 30,000 square feet. And what he, this is before kiosks, before websites. And what he did is if he was buying, he would put a gate around it. If he was building, he made sure there was a gate with a key code entrance and there was a phone booth out front. And people would stop, get on the phone and call his company, a central office. They would get a unit over the phone. They would get a code over the phone. If they had a credit card, they would pay over the phone. If not, an invoice was mailed to them, their lease was mailed to them, and they rented units that way. Then when kiosks came along, this company was already poised and ready to go. Now, 
These are small facilities in rural towns. No one or two deals is going to really change this self-storage entrepreneur's lifestyle. But what he did was he rinsed and he repeated. Today, they're in multiple states and they have well over 100 facilities. What I admire about this is this guy created a formula that was based around his goals. He found something that worked. No one deal was a huge, you know, home run, but he did it over and over and over again. And now he has a multi, multi million dollar self storage empire. He didn't diversify. He didn't go out and start building 50,000 square foot facilities. He didn't go out and start building retail centers and mixed use products. What he focused on was small managerless facilities in small town America. Perhaps the diversity is he's in multiple states and multiple markets and not having to depend on any one location's economy. In the most recent boot camp we ran, we had someone come in and talk who had been in a previous boot camp 13 months earlier. And this person put a team together and this team had done 11 transactions in 13 months. Now, just for the record, I've never done 11 deals in a year, but, but this person did. Now, what he did was he took the formulas that we taught in the boot camp, adjusted them, changed them to fit his personality and his goals and his strategies, which I totally respect and admire, and he went out and did 11 transactions. Now, they focus on expansions and conversions only in a certain part region of the country in the southeast. That's all they focus on. And they have a formula that works and they rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. They have formulas for looking at deals. They have formulas for analyzing the deals. And so far, they've done 11 transactions in 13 months and they specialize. They're not doing huge projects and small projects and ground up construction and one in California and one in Texas. They're focused and they're real clear on what they're doing. They specialize, they don't diversify. In both cases, the entrepreneur's energies are not scattered. They're very focused. They're laser beamed in on what they're doing. That's what I would suggest that people getting in the self storage business need today is to be real clear on what the type of storage they're looking for to do and then do it over and over again. If you want rinse and repeat. That way you're not waiting for the home run deal. You're not waiting for the best deal out there. You've got a formula and you're executing that formula. So I'm going to suggest if you're getting in or growing your self storage business, you become a specialist and don't diversify. Specialize, create something that you think is going to work, test it, tweak it if you need to. And then once you do it, do it again and again if you choose to, but specialize in a particular niche in the self storage industry. Don't diversify. So this is the first in a series called practices for self storage entrepreneurs to develop. And next week we're going to talk about analyze, but don't overanalyze. I look forward to being with you then. My name's Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of this Storage World Analyzer. The Storage World Analyzer is the financial analysis modeling tool we use to analyze self storage. It's a cloud based program specifically designed for self storage. If you're using Excel, great, but I invite you to look at the Storage World Analyzer. Creating wealth through selfstorage.com. Click the Storage World Analyzer tab, or you can go straight to storageworldanalyzer.com. Thank you very much, and I look forward to being with you next week as we go deeper into practices self storage entrepreneurs should develop.
in today's world. See you then.